Dr. Blair, Blair Taylor here. She has been a professor here for 16 years in computer and science, um, information sciences, won numerous grants and teaching awards. And I want to say so much more about her, but I want to give her the full time. So basically what she's going to talk about is implementing Facebook in the classroom. Her motto is if you can't beat them, join them. Students are going to use it anyway. So um, without further ado, she's going to tell us how she uses Facebook to build community, particularly among women and underrepresented minority students. Thank you. Hi. Um, OK, before I start, welcome everybody. And I want to, um, first of all, start with a disclaimer. I, my specialty is, don't laugh, security. Um, so this is not my research area. Uh, this is just something that I tried. And I have, you know, so I'm going to show you. We, we did do some data, uh, some studies on this. But again, this is not my area of expertise. This is just something I tried to get students every semester. In between semesters, I always try to look for new ways to get students involved. And since we are a technology department, I'm always looking there. So um, first of all, I'm going to talk about, this is basically what I'm going to talk about today. I have some background information, which you may or may not already know. I didn't know, because again, this is not my area. Um, and I have some results of the studies that we did do. I have a feeling that people have more questions about the actual logistics of using Facebook, so I'm going to go relatively quickly through the um, uh, results and the process and why Facebook. So um, the goals, when I started this project, my, I didn't have a lot of lofty goals. I'm always looking to improve the course experience. Um, so anything that would help with that, I, like I said, every semester, every January, I try to try something new or look at something new. And usually it's technology related. Um, as, you, as you may or may not know, CS is comprised of primarily geeky white males. And we also have some Asians, but women and um, African Americans are very underrepresented. Um, and there's a reason, so I wanted to increase the sense of community because not only do we not have women and underrepresented minorities in the beginning, but we also lose them at very large rates. So the dropout rate for women, for example, is 36% as compared to 23.5. And my feeling is that they don't feel like they belong there. And, I don't, you know, and that's, there is, of course, research that shows that. But really, it's just more from having taught for a million years and just seeing what goes on in the classroom. So my other goal was, I figure if it's not a lot of work, I'm going to see what happens. I don't have a lot to lose. So those were my goals, OK? Um, as you know, social networking sites are become more and more prevalent. Now, you know, I don't know if we're going to have a heated discussion with this, because I do not love Facebook. Please understand that. I, I, I'm not. I, re I remember when a couple years ago, apparently I, my daughter was totally humiliated because I wrote L-I-K-E as opposed to pushing the like button. You know, so, so, you know, it's not my thing, okay? But guess what? It is the students, okay? So um, they use a lot of social networking sites. And, it's, and the only reason I picked Facebook is because, um, first of all, you all know, because you've all seen social networking, that it began in 2004 at Harvard. Um, and it's currently the most popular social networking site that, that exists, okay? Um, and also, not only is it the most popular social networking site, it's also the most popular website in the entire internet, okay? Um, in over 53 billion minutes were spent in May 2011. So this is pretty well documented. That a lot of time is spent on Facebook. Um, and you also know that in 2012 they reached 1 billion users. So a lot of this you know. 85% um, of, it's an estimated 85% of undergraduate students that are using Facebook. That's a lot, okay? Um, and we know they're using it in our classrooms, too, OK? Bottom line, you know, whether it's on their PC or whether it's on their phone, they are using Facebook. Uh, women tend to like social networking sites. Um, Facebook has 60% women as opposed to 40% men. Um, I couldn't find a lot of data. I, will, I do want to send a shout out to my, my undergraduate student. So I use Facebook and wasn't really planning on doing a research study. I have an undergraduate student, Shoshana Locks, who actually did all my literature review and helped me run the data. She did this for her honors thesis project. So she was responsible for a lot of the, um, the information here. So um, we couldn't find any data on underrepresented minorities. My sense in the class has been that a lot of the African-American males use Facebook a lot. That's just been my experience in the classroom. 
Um, so you all probably know all this. I didn't know all these terms because I'm not a socio you know, soci sociologist. I'm a geeky uh, white female in computer science. <laughs> so um, you know, we call this group of students now. We know, you know, again, I don't know the terms. These are new to me, but I, I know the phenomenon. And that, and that is that our students, our kids, are what we call digital natives. They were born with a cell phone in their hand, practically. We are what we call digital immigrants, meaning that we came later to this field. So they're much more used to using these types of things and sharing and, and all kinds of other information like that, uh, types of things like that. Um, and, that's what, and, and there's also a different type of thinking that goes with what's known as digital natives and digital immigrants, which is, um, you know, again, whether you know the study or not, we know this because we're, we're in the classrooms and we see it. Um, so for lack of a better word, sometimes we call this the net generation. Bottom line is that these students learn in a different way. They're much more comfortable on these social networking sites than we are. Um, and, the, and the traditional lecture for them tends to cause this, okay? So I'm always looking for ways, although I'm, I consider myself a pretty traditional, I use a very traditional style in my classroom, um, I do try to, you know, supplement it as much as possible. So some instructors are using some tools. I'm sure you're using some in your classroom. classroom. Um, some of the studies show that social networking can be used. I always believe that any of these technologies would never replace the class the traditional classroom, but instead supplement it. And that's my belief, and that seems to be what most um, people believe as well. Um, we were the first users of Facebook, believe it or not. Our, um, it started in 2004. It was limited to a .edu uh, email, and we were the, I was the cool one who was on Facebook first. We're no longer cool. You know, now it's, uh, you know, I think a lot of the young students are actually, they say they're moving away from Facebook, but a lot of them are still on there. For example, uh, you know, Instagram, I see these photos on Instagram, and the same thing shows up on uh, Facebook. I think they like to deny they're using Facebook a little bit more, but it still seems like they're there. Um, now, some of the things that's interesting, and, I, and this is not my opinion, but there's an idea that self-disclosure can actually help a little bit with the relationship aspect of um, teacher-student. Um, and that you, the teacher may actually be viewed as more caring, so this may uh, f reflect in your evaluations. I'm not making any promises here. Um, you know, obviously, if you're, oh, a second one, this is interesting. Facebook has the advantage, notice in quotes, of allowing students to know more about your personal information. I will tell you, I'm going to talk about friending and not friending. Um, that's a different issue. But just even being on Facebook could sort of puts you in a little bit of a different environment. Um, obviously, that you should be very careful of anything you post, anything they see. You need to, as you manage your classroom, you need to manage this environment as well. Be professional. Um, the big question to friend or not to friend, uh, many faculty members, including me, do not accept friend requests from students. Um, in order to use Facebook, you do not need to be their friends. Um, instead, you use what, and this is what I did in my class, I used a Facebook group. So I do not, in general, I just ignore the Facebook requests from students. Um, if you are friending your students, then this is just, I'm not even going to go through this. Just be professional, okay? Um, so basically, what did I do? I created, in fall 2011, I teach a um, couple different levels of uh, the core computer science classes. I created a group for each class that I taught. Okay, I was the administrator. It was pretty easy to do. Um, I found a cool picture. I posted it there. And then basically, on my syllabus, as you can see at the bottom there, I said that it's a fa use of this group is encouraged but not required. So I do not require the use of Facebook. Um, so that was all I did. Create the group and then encourage students to join. My TA also joined. That was actually really helpful. Okay. Um, the group is open. So I've had grandparents join. Um, you know, it's nothing we say in there. Is, now I will, I, I do have a, I, I, for the first time last semester, I taught an online class for high school girls. I did make that group closed on purpose because the girls, I wanted them to feel free to discuss things, that type of thing. But in general, each of my class groups is open. I also created a group for advising. That went nowhere. I think I should have done a page for that. So that group did nothing. That was totally useless, OK? Um, I turned notifications on for the group. So this does mean that it, you do not have to be on Facebook to see if students post stuff. You basically will get an email whenever anybody posts anything, OK? So that's all you need to do. You do not need to live on Facebook or anything like that. And every single time somebody posts or answers a post, you will get a notice to your email. 
Um, okay, so I had a hundred over three semesters. These looked better on my other. My other. Well, anyway, um, the I had 136 responses over three semesters. 64% uh, were male. I pretty much only, um, and I had a pretty decent 25% uh, African American students. So a fairly diverse group. Obviously, this is computer science, so that's why you see I'm getting so many more males here. Okay. Um, a large number of surprisingly juniors. I wouldn't have guessed that in the process of things, but fairly evenly dispersed between freshmen, sophomore, and juniors. And a large number of computing majors, which obviously is what I was targeting. You know, trying to see, uh, you know, trying to keep these students in these classes. Why are my slides screwed up? What? I'm sorry. Oh no 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 no! Wait a second. I'm not there yet. This is just a number. Of I had a survey. Oh oh. Okay. I did a survey in all three sections, okay? And these are the results that I got, okay? So out of, out of three semesters, two different class, you know, several classes each time, there was a total of 136. Now, this is just who took the survey. That's questions coming up. Okay, this is just the, my demographics of my group, okay? So then, um, 80, this is to answer your question. Who had previously used Facebook? 87% had previously used Facebook. Um, everybody but one female had pre previously used Facebook, so not surprising there. Um, of the pe people who chose to use the Facebook group, 71% of the respondents said they had chosen to use the Facebook group, 83% of the females. Pretty much what, I'm, what you're going to see from my results is you're going to see pretty positive results and slightly higher for probably not significantly, you know, this data is all relatively new. I just basically looked at numbers. Slightly higher for both women and underrepresented uh, males, okay? Um, and I'm seeing a little bit of a trend up in using the group this semester. So this semester we had 78% of the students did use the group. Okay, most of the usage was following questions. A few people posted and a few people used it for chatting. Um, very few had ever used it in any other class, which is a little bit surprising. 23% uh, had used it on their own. So any questions about this slide? I think I dove into this too fast. Um, this is just basically the, the use of Facebook from the 136 respondents out of the three semesters. Question, Jane? <laughs> Yes, they don't see my friends. They're not my friends. It's just a group that I'm the administrator for. Yes. Definitely want to no, place. no, absolutely. The only thing they'll see is my picture. But it's, but it's attached to your personal they can't see my Facebook page. Right, when you made oh, when I made it, I made it from my Facebook page. Yes, but my personal Facebook. Page. I actually tried doing it from a separate separate account. Let me talk about that a little bit at the end, because that actually violates Facebook's rules. So I thought if I'm ever going to go anywhere with this, I better not do that. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah. And you don't want them actually physically using it in class? Well, I'm a, we're a computer science class, so we, a lot of them have laptops. You know, I'm pretty, you know, responsive to what they're doing. I mean, I'll say things like, oh, yeah, say hi to my daughter. You know, you know if I see them doing stuff, you know, I mean, I, you know, they're going to use whatever they're going to use. And um, now, you know, they'd say, oh, I can actually really use Facebook at this point. But, you know, we do, it, we, we're not a history class, for sure. I mean, we, we allow, I mean, I allow computers in my classroom and that type of thing. Okay, so, um, so I, I was basically looking for two things. And these are not beautiful graphs at this point in time, so I just pulled this out of SPSS, because this is basically the amount of time we've had for this data collection. So you're going to see, you can see that basically most of the students felt there was some improvement. That's good. I'm not looking to, for this to change their life. I just thought for a small amount of work, if, any, if it's positive, that's good. Because this was not much work for me, okay? So, you know, I had a few, I had, you know, uh, I don't know, how much, 21% said no improvement. Pretty much everybody else said that there was some improvement. And um, if 79% reported some improvement to answer two, three, four, or five, the females were 85%. So, Pretty good, I think. I mean, I, like I said, I'm not expecting this to, you know, um, revolutionize uh, computer science education. I just was hoping that if it's not a lot of work and it's mostly positive response, then I, you know, I felt like it was a, a meaningful thing to do. Question. Maybe talk about it later, but improvement in what way? This is just the question. Improve your experience. The question to the students posed was, to what extent did the use of Facebook improve your experience in this class? That was the question. No, think specific. And we asked a couple questions. I was really looking for community, but I just wanted to see, you know, this is just a general question for them. 
Um, and then the next question, which is really one of my most, my most, you know, my biggest goal was, was connectivity and um, community. So I asked a couple questions along this way. To what extent did the use of Facebook improve your connectivity? And some said no, 28%, but 72% indicated there was some improvement. And the, the percentages of females were higher. And that's typically in computer science, we always get the opposite. You know, whatever we're testing, yeah, that's true, but not for women, not for underrepresented. So this is positive to me, okay? Um, and then what extent did it help you know your classmates better? Some said not much, but you know, a, a, a pretty decent majority said that it did. So fine, I mean, you don't have to use it, it's not required. If it helps two students become roommates, you know, or two females, which happens a lot in computer science, who never knew their names. See here, the one thing you, you have to see here is that students in a class do not have a class roster in general. So they may see students in the class, but on Facebook, they actually see the students and they can friend them. Friending to them is nothing. It does not mean a date or anything like that. It's just a very, you know, it's an easy process. So they actually were able to connect, exchange information outside of the classroom. Um, and here's, did it increase the sense of community? I added this question last semester. It's a very small data set, only 34 students. But the answer was yes to 68%. I did not ask this question to the previous. Um, and, the, and I also asked this question this time, we kind of, as we saw the positive data, we started to zero in on some of the questions. 80% said they would like to see another classes. So again, just sort of a positive response. Um, oh, and then of course I'm gonna address the negatives here. Do they find it intimidating? Um, a surprising amount did not find it as intimidating at all. I get, maybe not, maybe we're not surprised, but they did not find it particularly intimidating. I didn't see anything here really that indicated that they found this you know, particularly intimidating. Only a handful found it extremely intimidating, yeah. I, I use Blackboard for all my grades, and th that question will come up too. And I'm asking because it seems like you're only giving students, like, the option to give it positive feedback. Like, you know, 46.3, we don't know if these people are not intimidated. Well, let's go back to the previous chart. You know, a certain percent of the intelligent people said that there, there were no improvements. How about if some of that percentage is actually Oh, that's I could ask that. I would. Because that would. maybe you know. Okay. Even, even though some students maybe really, I'm just wondering. Yeah, know. that's a good. I could add that. I can certainly add that. Maybe they feel that Facebook is not necessarily the, the right company for. Yeah, I mean. Educational purposes to have. Okay, I mean, wait, hold on to some. You see some of my other questions because I did try to. Yeah, but I mean that certainly is. You know, I, I welcome any feedback like that. Um, this was hilarious. Did the use of Facebook increase or decrease TV? Not one student said that it increased. So I said, I said and in my last class, 53% um, said there was less. Okay, now I've just figured out a way to stop cheating. Get all the students on Facebook. This is not what I was intending. This is a joke, okay? But it was just interesting that they felt there was less cheating. I mean, that was like very marked, yes? Um, on your last slide, for the extremely intimidating were those, do you know if those students were on Facebook or did they elect not to use Facebook? Yeah, that, that we can look, yeah. How many? Okay. Right, I'm hope, right. I don't know. Male minorities? Okay, to what extent did the use of Facebook um, infringe upon your personal space? 77% felt there was no. 80, last semester, 85%. I, I feel like in, in many ways that the students are getting more and more comfortable in these mediums, and you know, not less so. Um, I asked about Blackboard, and 60% said they would be interested in seeing it on Blackboard. 60% uh, said they wouldn't be interested. 40% said they would. So certainly that is something that the big one of the big things they mentioned about Facebook was the notification system. They really like that, so that they don't have to be on it. Um, it almost. All my comments were very positive. They loved it. I mean, some people were just like, this is like, they thanked me, you know, for having this, this medium. So um, here's some of the answers I got. Easier to get hold of students, getting questions answered. That was the biggest, we can talk about what actually showed up on Facebook. Uh, more personal level with the professor and the grad student. Reminders, that was something my TA did. I never told her to. She just did that. Um, 
And question, post questions posted was the biggest thing that they used this for. Uh, how could the use of Facebook in this class be improved? I used a lot, did a lot of Ravens posting, feeling that was fairly innocuous, not political. Somebody <laughs> said, and I know who the student was, he was funny, no Ravens post, go Steelers, so that was him. Um, he, I actually had a really good, one of the best inputs I had here was, best, I, I kept the group open to previous classes, thinking that would be useful. But they're telling me they don't know who's previous. So, so this semester, I might actually start one just for this semester. So I didn't even think about that. So that was actually really good input from the students. Here's some, uh, some of them are just so simple. The students answer their own questions. That's what the big, you know, I'd rather get 10 emails, the same email, OK? Um, they answer the questions. So one student said, do we submit homework at Blackboard or a class? And the student says, Blackboard. Um, notice this was at 10.23 p.m. I might have been in bed at this point. <laughs> so in other words, this got answered by somebody else. That's to me, that was, that's one of my goals. Great, wonderful. Um, questions, general questions to the TA. Somebody had already emailed the TA, shared that to the rest of the class. Um, again, saves somebody from getting 20 questions, 20 emails, me or the TA. Um, I use this to sort of say things up. Oh, notice a lot of you were missing due to Oriel fever. You know, that was during the uh, playoffs. And, um, you know, somebody said, I heard that's been going around. So I just use it for food, kind of, you know, just to kind of needle or whatever. Um, and then this is my, you know, my dream. People post, this doesn't, you know, this happens occasionally. People post relevant comics, they post relevant news articles. Students, this is not me, this is a student who post a relevant comment, you know, com you know, just cool, this is what you want. They're thinking outside of the classroom. So I'm not saying this happens every day and, you know, la, 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 but occasionally. So that was, that was a positive thing. Um, so basically, I feel like for the amount of work that it was, it was pretty positive. Um, most students felt a sense of community, improved sense of community. Um, the, the, I, I felt the results for females and male minorities were you know, as positive, if not more positive. I saw, I haven't gone through and, and counted the, the number of students who posted. Like I know some of my females were very active on, on Facebook. I know some of my male minorities were very active with questions, postings, and things like that. Uh, but I have not really uh, summarized all that. And it's not much effort for you. And it can improve the classroom experience and allow students to connect. So, you know, if you wanted to do this, and this is where I think we're gonna get a lot of questions. Question. Um, one thing that kind of worries me about this is if you get an email every time someone posts, you could have an awful lot of emails and I'm already overrun. Well, how many did you get? Not many. I mean, so, you know, I can show you the group. What I'll do is after I've done this, I'll show you the group and you can see how often. This is not something that, you know, this is not their life's work. I mean, they're, they're, like, around the time, it probably parallels when you would have gotten the email questions yourself. So, for example, when I put a review sheet up for the exam, tons of postings, right? But most of them, I didn't always answer. Do you know what I mean? I mean, one student says timely responses. Yeah, I felt like saying, yeah, because I probably answered that three posts ago, you know, so I let it sit, you know? So you do get more emails prior to a review. I hand out a review sheet and people say, how do you do question 16? Somebody might answer, I might do it, I might answer. I didn't find that, but I find, I think it reduced emails rather than increased emails. Would be my, you know, I don't, I didn't measure that, but that's actually a very good, well, how would I measure that? I could do a, I could do a control, two classes. If this was my research area, that would be something I could do. Do you post documents, post the blackboard messages? So my entire syllabus is on Blackboard. My entire syllabus is, you know, is on Blackboord. And everything is, all my lecture notes, every single thing, everything is on black. Is, is on a, you know, I have a web, where computer science? I have a syllabus that has every, you can see every lecture note from now to the, right now you could, and every assignment, and that's, in one, that's on one website, which is available on Blackboard, not Facebook at all. Um, so that's my primary means. This is just a supplemental. This is not my, this is not, you know, running, driving a class. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it wasn't open. So it's an, so you just I made the group open because I don't care who can. Yeah. So now, um, actually though, so last semester I had a high a, a, a online class for high school girls, and we made that closed group, and I did not friend them, and they were all part of the group. But the yeah. So I mean, you know, the, the Facebook, the privacy settings change all the time. So. 
And there, you know, one problem was when they weren't friends, we couldn't chat. I would have liked to have a group chat. There's some things I wish Facebook still had, like some chatting mechanisms. They all made friends and they were chatting. But I couldn't chat with them. Yeah, I had to accept them. But they're not my friend. They just, um, well, they may be my friend, but they, <laughs> but they would accept, you know, they would always have to ask me to join the group, and I pretty much always said yes. Question? Did you have any experience with someone posting something inappropriate or inflammatory? Yeah, no. So but so I can delete posts, and I had somebody post me once, could they, is, can, it was funny. She said, can it, yeah, does it have to be class related? It turned out she was her, her roommate was running for election or something. I said, no, as long as it's nice. And, and that she put that there, and I thought that was perfect. But as the administrator, you can delete posts. So, so but, you know, it's, this is not like, this is, this is their schoolwork. They're not like living on, I mean, they're answering this as a needed, you know, they're not, you know, this is not a, you're not getting killed with the traffic on this. I'm not a Facebook uh, um, expert, and they are. I always ask them. I say, you know, how any idea? You know, I mean, I'm in the classroom. First of all, remember, I teach computer science. Facebook is a software program, so this is always a good discussion area. Um, so I'll say, should I do a group? Should I make it open? You know, we'll talk about it, and they'll give me. They're happy to give me input on something they know about. So I, I, I think that's been pretty positive. Yeah, I think I. One thing I should have added to this, when instead of see what happens, listen to the students. You know. What do they say? Do they think this is a, you know, I always say, what should I do this? Should I do, you know, about this? And they're, and it's been pretty good. And like, I tried Google Plus, which is a new, you know, that was two years ago when this is when I first started. I thought, well, I'll try that for my upper level classes. That's more professional, la, la, la. And they go, what, are you kidding me? Nobody's on Google Plus, and we don't want to get on Google Plus. And, you know, so I thought, okay, no Google Plus. <laughs> so that may change. I'm not a merit to Facebook in any fashion. I'm going where they are, you know? Question. Well, you can see everything. Seed. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, but things like go Ravens, uh, have a nice Thanksgiving. We're going to learn binary. To no, we're going to learn binary today. I mean, I might say that. Yeah, I, do, I typically do not um, talk about, I'm going to see if I can click right to the page. Um, question. Another question why I'm bringing this up? When are we going to see it? Okay, I can't answer that one. Um, well, I mean, this is, this is, you know, the one class had 60 students, but I'm not going that way. Okay, another question. <laughs> um, okay, we're out of time. Okay, I was just going to show you the group if anybody wants to.